Hello and welcome to the Clinical Liver Diseases video series. CLD is an official digital learning publication of the AASLD. I'm Karen Scott and I'm an epidemiologist and PhD student at the MRC Clinical Trials Unit at UCL in the UK and the author of Acceptability of Hepatitis Screening and Treatment During Pregnancy in Pregnant Women in Egypt, Pakistan and Ukraine, a cross-sectional survey. The HGV study was funded by the UK Medical Research Council and we had fantastic teams in Egypt, Pakistan and Ukraine collaborating on this with us. We did this study as we wanted to find out how pregnant women felt about hep C screening and treatment and we set it in Egypt, Pakistan and Ukraine as there are very little data from these countries and they all have high hep C burden. For the study we surveyed over 600 pregnant and postpartum women for their views on hep C screening and treatment in pregnancy. Just to clarify, not all of them were hep C positive. Some had never been tested. Some may have had hep C in the past and some were aware of their status. We had two key findings. First, 90% of women are supportive of universal screening for hep C in pregnancy. And second, three quarters of women found DAA treatment in pregnancy acceptable if the treatment was approved for use during pregnancy. Our study findings are important for three main reasons. First, Hep C in women of childbearing age is a huge public health concern with around 15 million women in this age group living with hep C worldwide and vertical transmission is the leading cause of hep C in children globally. Second, pregnant women are currently being left behind in the WHO elimination goals for hep C. So as a reminder, these goals are to diagnose 90% of those with hep C and treat 80% by 2030. But at the moment, few countries offer free universal hep C screening in pregnancy, despite this being a really easy time to engage women in testing. And of course, women are already tested for HIV at this time. Even if a woman is diagnosed with hep C at pregnancy screening, DAAs are not currently approved for use in pregnant and breastfeeding women and are not generally recommended in any guidelines. But the US and European guidelines have been updated recently to say that treatment can be considered on a case-by-case -case basis with discussion about risks and benefits. Third, there are ongoing trials on DAAs in pregnancy in the US, so it is possible that DAAs will be found to be safe and cure hep C in pregnant women and potentially prevent passing it on to the baby. If this was the case, we need to know how women would feel about taking these drugs. There are two key strengths and one main limitation to this study. First, this is the largest study to date on the acceptability of hep C screening and treatment in pregnant and postpartum women. And it's the first study set in low and middle income countries with a high hep C burden. Second, we have included women from different regions of the world with different types of hep C epidemics. Egypt and Pakistan have generalized epidemics, while Ukraine has a concentrated epidemic with high prevalence among those living with HIV. And so in Ukraine, many of the women were living with HIV and acceptability was high in this group as well. A key limitation of our study is that in order to find out about the acceptability of DAAs in pregnancy, we asked a hypothetical question. We asked women to consider a scenario where they were living with hep C and pregnant and were offered DAAs which had been approved for use in pregnancy. Under this hypothetical scenario, over three quarters of women said they would consider taking DAAs, but we don't know what the uptake would be if faced with this scenario in the real world. In terms of further research that is needed, there has already been a great amount of work done in this area, so we're getting closer to knowing whether DAAs are safe in pregnancy. Some phase two trials have reported positive results and Catherine Chapel and her team are currently doing a larger trial of 100 women taking soft, soft felt in the pregnancy in the US. In terms of real world data, the Coalition um, for Global Hepatitis Elimination has established a DAA pregnancy registry to encourage reporting of real world use of DAAs. Also, the cost effectiveness of universal screening in pregnancy has been demonstrated by several studies and our group has just written a paper on potential cost effectiveness for different strategies of treatment using the acceptability data from our survey with encouraging results. For research that's still needed, we still don't know that much about effectiveness and safety in low and middle income countries where healthcare systems and socio-demographics of women are very different. All of this work combined will help, help policymakers decide whether DAA should be recommended in pregnancy. On behalf of us all on the CLD team, I hope you found this commentary useful 
For more information about Hepsi, please visit us at cldlearning.com. And thank you for watching.